Hi, my name is Kofi Dadzi. I'm a co-founder of Rankart. Um, we're, faced, uh, we're focused on um, building platforms that use data graphs and AI to help businesses make better decisions. Um, I um, would like to share a number of things um, concerning the world of AI, um, the world of machine learning, and what we should expect in our lives from multiple perspectives. So I think these perspectives could be um, leadership or policy makers, what concerns should they have, um, businesses and professionals who work in businesses, that perspective, community leaders, organizations, um, and then the teacher, extremely important, students, people who are learning today, asking questions about how do they, um, what kind of learning, what kind of coursework should they be signing up for to be relevant in a, in a highly unknown future. And then ultimately, um, the everyday individual consumer, what should we expect? So let's start from the everyday individual consumer. That's you and I. Um, today, almost all of us have a mobile phone which has some degree of smartness. Um, but on average, the mobile phones we have today are more powerful than the original mainframes that were created which would fit in a whole room the size of this studio. Not only are they powerful as individual devices, but a lot of them are data enabled and so they are connected to large arrays of computing power that we refer generally to as the cloud. That's how come all the apps that we download and use every day are able to update profiles and give us more information. So today, if I wanted to communicate with a friend or somebody I wanted to do business with at the end of the world in a different language, my mobile phone and translation applications would enable me to do that. If I wanted to research and learn about them or if I have a health issue and before I go and see a doctor, I want some context on you know, um, what are the treatments like, what are the drugs like, what are the costs like, I can do all that research myself online. If I have challenges as a parent with my kids and I'm trying to understand different situations or disorders, I can do all that research online. So, as an individual, I'm significantly empowered by my access to data in my hand via my phone. The teacher and the student critical area because they are really the ones helping us prepare for an unknown future. The student needs to be focused on going beyond the classroom. Going beyond the classroom means spend some of that time you have with your smartphone and data to revisit some of the topics your teacher has introduced and see whether there is new information, new learning or some evolved form of learning that points to how these topics will be treated in the future. So everything from your basic English, mathematics and your sciences to advanced courses. So if you are say a law student, you could ask yourself, how will the law be practiced in different areas in the future? How will contracts be reviewed? How will judges make decisions? Already in some jurisdictions, judges are being assisted by machine learning models in making determinations on whether um, a prisoner should be paroled or not based on um, data models that have been composed. And that takes us to the other um, facet I think we should look at. That's leadership policy makers. So our policy environment is largely responsible for how we are developing, gathering and using data to impact our society. Already policy makers, even prior to the world of advanced automation and AI, policymakers would use sensor data. So you go all the way back to the birth of Christ and the Emperor Augustus had set a census to count the people. Um, that's used in making all kinds of decisions from how large an army can I levy to how much taxes can I collect, ultimately what development programs can I execute, where are they most needed. So data has always been used in decision making. What policymakers need to focus on is how this data impacts decisions in individual lives when we delegate it to machine learning models. So it's critical that we understand the ethics, the potential biases in the data that we apply 
um, especially when it comes to large organizations who are making decisions like lending, school placements, but also how policymakers apply these in security and in development. Overall, what I've been um, um, encouraging is that we embrace the machine. That basically means when we have a problem, we should look at how to apply to technology, either technology we already have or how we can build new technologies to solve what are both our basic everyday problems as well as our national tr transformational needs.